Hello everyone, and welcome back to Paper Mario. We're continuing our adventure through, um, here. What is this? This is Shiver Mountain. This is a very cold, dangerous climb. Be careful, okay, Mario? Yep. Danger goes hand in hand. We're almost at the very end. Let's see, can we fly across there or use that? It looked a bit wide for Paracarry. But apparently that's not what we're trying to do. Ouch. Alright, I can't be as wild with my... flower points now that I know, don't know that I have uh, toad houses at either end to, for me to relax at. I can do this at least, since we're on full star points. Now here's a question. How much damage does Cooper do again? I know he can probably defeat the... Ice Piranha. Ah, four. One short. Unfortunate. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to break Gulpit's rocks. Okay, I think that broke one of them. Yeah, I think one hit for one break is just not worth it. Not compared to what we're losing out on. Gonna get all of our health back soon. Another fight like that, and we'll level up. Oh. Ouch. Sorry, I swear I pressed the button there, but apparently not. Oops. Messed up. I, um. Man, okay, that's annoying. I uh, what tried to do the hold like his normal attack rather than the tap quickly, like this one. So I did less damage than I could have, but hey, we still managed to finish him off in one go. And we level up as well. Let's see, we are at 30-25. Uh, let's get FP up, since we've been using so much of that recently. Extra five points will be helpful. Smack him in the nose. Oh, and how could I not do a fire attack with this lineup? Man, I wish I had, like, just the basic Quake camera equipped. Let's see how much that costs. Two. Ah, not quite. Like it did a little bit, but not enough to actually matter. Nice. Man, having that feeling fine badge equipped has been my best choice yet. Yeah, so I am going to go ahead and say that that um, spin attack badge, if it's only going to do one damage to the guys behind it, that's, that's not really worth it. Um, in fact, let's see. What... Nope, wrong button. What is the cost of a basic Quake Hammer? I think that actually will do more for less. It is fine, just you know, need to tap a bunch of guys. Oh, nothing. I'm assuming that there's a secret here. Oh. Ooh, an Ultra Shroom. Very nice. We've got jam and jelly for 50 um, FP before, but not a 50 point mushroom. I feel like we're on the edge of the world up here. Seriously, this is a really remote place to go adventuring. Alright, we've got an up in a low path. A pebble. Uh, can't think of a good use for that. Do I just need to hit that with Cooper? 
Do you have to reach for that? I haven't used them in a while. I... Oh. Hello? Hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me! Imposter, who are you, really? Tell me your name! I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What, what, what? That's impossible! I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking like a crazy talk now. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper, really. Come on, Mario, you know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying, Mario. You know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, you goody-goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why, you... You're the one who just shut his mouth. I'm his buddy, pal. Listen, moron. Uh, Mario, you have to decide who's lying. It's the only way. Pick the one you think is lying, and whack him really hard with the hammer. Yep. I mean, obviously, right? And what are you, a ghost with a top knot? Yeah! What made you think I was the one lying, huh? Must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. Don't be such a crybaby. You lost. What were you thinking, trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up. I'll trick you. By trick, you mean just, like, have a fight? Oh, now there's two of you. Let's see, can I just take one of you out and one go? Nope, more than 12 hit points. Not a ton of damage, but let's see what this is. I'm assuming he'll use Cooper's abilities now. Let's quickly get a scan in on him. It's a Duplicos disguised as Cooper. Max hit points 15. This imposter almost looks better than the original. Ha! Its disguise is pretty much perfect. Its attack power is exactly the same as the character it's imitating. It's probably not very difficult for this Duplicos to disguise itself as Cooper. After all, our pal is pretty unusual looking. It'll attack us with its shell, just like the regular Cooper. You'll have your best luck beating it if you flip it. Oh nice, he even has a weakness to, um... Oh, no, didn't get the timing down. Weirdly enough, for a guy who I've seen fight so often. Alright. And I think I even have time to do a nice little refresh. And then Goombaru can finish the job for us. Yeah. Easy peasy. Alright, that's probably going to be a thing going forward. Illusions and stuff. Secrets seem to be... Man. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get a ah, bow out here. Why not? Okay, nice. That's enough. another hammer and swap over to Goombario and tell us who these guys are. White Clubba. This is a white clubba. They live in cold climates. Who knows why they moved here? Next one's 12, attack power 5, defense power 0. They sometimes attack consecutively. They're pretty powerful. It's tough to swing such big clubs. Ice attacks won't work on them, so break out fire if you have it. Alright, so they are not just like, you know, visually different. They also have, um, what's it called? Like actual weaknesses. Uh, will I hurt myself if I jump on top? I think I might. Let's go ahead and get Cooper out again. He's been our go-to around here lately. Right. There we 
we've got a staircase up and way off to the right. Let's go up before we leave the map. Oh, very nice. Is that our final? That's an upgrade for Lack of Lester. Do you want to upgrade this member? Yes. Don't know who else I would upgrade. Unless we've got another member in this place. Ultra rank. But let's get Goombario out because we're about to go to the new map. Boy, climbing this mountain is really hard. You'd think the path to a palace dedicated to the stars would be a lot less trying on the legs. Let's see, we've got a star thing there. And a thing there. And are we missing one? One second. Okay. It seems like there's a big gap between those two, and then a smaller gap between these two. Hmm. Alright, whatever. I mean, I don't want any of those items, and I feel like they're just gonna be a trap, so, um. Let's keep walking. Greed will not be the. have the best of me. Yep, I saw that. And I see that. Bombette, if you would. this. Oh, I see. What in the world are we dealing with here? Oh, a ghost. At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Merlard. I am a messenger of the stars. You know Merlon and Mer well. I am their ancestor. The stars, the stars spoke to me of you through my dreams. They said you would come to the shrine on Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace where stars are honored. Now, what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. In the interest of time, I'll be brief, so pay attention to the key points. I feel like she's gonna do a really long story. The story begins a long, long time ago. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. I ran there immediately, and... But it was actually such a sigh. I wasn't... It was so... Weird. Yep, yep, yep. We've been here before. So that's why you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace, but... Hey, you! Who are you even listening to my story? <laughs> well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. With this stone, you can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Go on. Make haste. Hmm. Do you think I understood my shortened version of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. Perhaps one day I'll tell you the full story. Until then, good luck. Okay, I was not expecting that just by taking the... the hidden path down. Uh, swap back to Cooper. So I'm presuming if we went up, yeah, yeah, right now, immediately we would have run into a problem. And it blocks off her tomb forevermore. Now that's what I call a staircase. All the way to the top. I dig the music around here, by the way. 
Got you this time. Okay, we're almost on full FP, so why don't we uh, lay down some of this? Let's see, and if I do the Quake Hammer, is that two damage to everyone? Ah, that's three damage to everyone. More than enough. Ah, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and do a little focus, pop us back up. I don't know if I've seen Cooper do that. I can't remember seeing him do that. I'll probably do a um, refresh soon. They were still making pretty good progress up the levels. Oh, was that a badge block? Mega jump. Mario something on a single enemy using tons of attack power. Sounds like that could be useful. But what would I take off? That is the constant problem. Okay, now this looks like something where I need to fall down. Yep. I know how they do things. If there's a weird cutout, then um, it's worth investigating, falling down. Alright, nothing else. Yeah, but now we've got to get back up to where we were. Well, it's only two flights of stairs. Which isn't too bad when you're just pressing A. There we go. I was expecting more trouble going up the stairs there. But maybe we'll have our trouble now. Since they topped us off. Interesting. A mirror? This is a door to the Crystal Palace. We can get in from here. It must have been tough to get building materials up here. But you think it would have been more convenient if they had built it at a lower elevation? Yeah, well, convenience isn't why we do everything, Kumbaya. Is there something over here? Or is that just the map looking weird? Alright. Alright, so this is the theme of the whole place, eh? that do? I see. So we've got a red door and a blue door. Anything else? Okay, no, just back and forth. That keeps it relatively simple. So spacious. You gotta love the high ceilings, huh, Mario? You could set up a basketball court in here. The rich really know how to live. I don't know if anyone ever actually lives here. This would be a temple of some sort. Hello? No? Ah, hello. Alright. Let's go ahead and tattle you up. This is a Supula. Supulas attack from the air and cling to you to suck your HP. Max hit points 8, attack power 2, defense power 0. Hit A repeatedly to fight it off or else it'll keep sucking your HP. You can't jump high enough to attack them while they're hanging from the ceiling. An earthquake attack ought to work them. Flying party members like Bow or Paracarry can also attack them with ease. If they fall and begin to flop around, you can attack them by jumping as well. Alright. Um... Mega Quake isn't going to be enough, but it'll at least take down one of them and weaken the others pretty well. Yeah, one short. Hate it when it's like that. Oh. Fast tap. Alright. Okay. Given the speed of that, I don't think I can prevent him from doing any damage, but I should be able to keep it down to one. Finish him off. Yeah, not too bad. And how many of you this time? Ooh, quite a few. 
Ooh, is it going to be worth... Does Black Blaster have a full, full script? Uh, no, I don't want to do a full, full clear yet because Mega Quake will require something to still be on the ceiling. Okay, so that's four to hit everyone in the air. I don't think I've got a better one than that. Let's see, Bombette can blow up everyone for eight. That's not going to be great. Paracarry. Um, six to hit everyone. Bow. Bow. Uh, no, I don't think she has any multi-target. Sushi. Has six. Yeah, I think I'm my most efficient fly clearing people is Spiny Surge. Alright. Push to the left repeatedly. Yeah, not the highest damage, but for what it does, and for what I needed, it's hard to beat. Yeah, see, this is why it's good to have all these different partners and use them. You got the blue key. A big blue key. I wonder what that's for. No, oh, one second. I never trust polished floors because they're often slippery. You really don't want to fall and bump your head. But your head is so close to the floor. This room is pretty cramped. I wonder what it was used for. Servants' quarters, maybe? That red X is certainly suspicious. So, blue key, blue door. I think I'm going to call it there for today. We've made some good progress. We've gotten into the temple. Um, probably not too far from getting our final star uh, spirit. And then heading off to fight Bowser. Um, so yeah, it's been cool. I'll see you guys later. Bye.